Hey, this is Mike with Family Handyman, and recently I discovered this really cool carving wheel for my angle grinder. I've never used them before, but I've always wanted to give power carving a try using this setup. And then I found an old slab that was rotting away in my garage and thought I could use this to then create a really cool piece of wall art. Let's give it a try. I started by tracing out the peaks of my design. I started sketching this out with a pencil, then once I got a shape that I liked, I came back through and drew the final line with a china pencil. Then I drilled several holes in between the lines. This is going to be the valley of my shape. I used a tape flag on my drill bit to set the depth consistently throughout the piece. Then it's time to carve. So this carving wheel spins really fast in the angle grinder and it's got big teeth that like to really catch the wood. So I make sure I have that extra handle just so I have a good hold of the angle grinder. So now that I've gone through the whole piece with the four and a half inch angle grinder with the coarse carving wheel, I'm going to switch it up to this two inch angle grinder, same wheel, but I need to get into some of these smaller areas to make sure the detail's right. So I've been using this coarse grit carving wheel and it's given me a pretty rough surface. I want to smooth it out and sand it nice and smooth later on. So to make that easier, I'm going to move up to the medium grit and then work on a fine grit. Once I'm done with the medium carving disc, I switch to the fine grit. So all the carving discs that I'm using come from a company called Sabertooth. I'm also using their 1 8 inch shank burr, which come in lots of different shapes and sizes as well as grits. I use them for this really fine detail work. Then it's time to sand. I used an orbital sander where I could fit it in the more wide parts and then switched to sanding sponges for those narrow sections. Then I applied a few coats of finish. So after about a day of messy, dusty grinding, I turned this cherry slab, which was bound for the garbage, into something I can hang on the wall. So for more projects like this, head to familyhandyman.com.